Shout Factory TV, changing the channel. It's the week of October 14th, 2014, and you're watching your weekly shout out. Howdy, everybody. Welcome to your weekly shout out. I'm Jennifer Landa. And I'm Brian Ward. This week, it's all about everyone's favorite Canadian. Mm, Shatner? Nope. Uh, Bieber? Nope. Brian Adams? Hey, what did I tell you about bringing him up around me? <sighs> right, sorry. No, this is everyone's favorite Canadian who's the best at what he does, but what he does isn't very nice. That's right, we're talking about Wolverine. This week, we have a five DVD collection of some of the greatest Wolverine stories ever told. Written by folks like Paul Jenkins, Damon Lindelof, Jason Aaron, and Jeff Loeb, Marvel Knight's The Wolverine Collection is a pretty big deal. That's right. Let's take a look at an excerpt from our bonus features. Just before we broke for lunch, Bill posed a, 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 a cryptic question. He, he said, what, what's the greatest Marvel story never told? And we were sort of, you know, thinking about it, and he said, the origin of Wolverine, and everybody in the room sort of bristled. We had never told the origin of Wolverine, and there became sort of a culture that Wolverine's origins were shrouded in mystery and that we should never tell them. Because if you tell the origin of Wolverine, it's going to take something away from the character, because there's so much cool about him being mysterious, and we hint at things here and there, and nobody gets a really clear picture on it of the character, and we really think that that's part of the mystique of the character. And I, I kind of believed that, and I, I, I only believed it because I actually I, I had heard it so many times. Well, it must be true. We always say no to everything. We can't do this, we can't do that, we can't do this. We were afraid of you know, doing a project that was high profile and spending a lot of money and losing it all. We were, we were afraid of criticism from fans who wanted Wolverine to stay a mystery. You know, the irony of Marvel is our most loyal fans are our most vociferous critics. But then there's that other irony that you know, we should have the courage to tell the story about our most courageous character. I really just started asking myself, is that really true? Do I, do I really honestly believe that if you tell the origin of the character, you destroy a big part of the character and we're going to lose one of our biggest marquee characters at Marvel because fans won't be interested anymore? And I realized I, I didn't believe that at all. What I did believe was that if we're going to tell the origin of Wolverine, it better be an incredible story because if it's not going to be an incredible story, then you will do damage to the character. I very distinctly remember Bill Gemma saying one sentence that I really admired. He said, I am no longer going to have the marketing department tell you what I want you to make. You're going to tell me as editors what you're going to make and then it's our job to sell it. And that was such a shift in the way that comics were being done at that point. Bill had said something very, very important, which was, you know what guys, if we don't tell the origin of Wolverine within the pages of the comics, don't be surprised if Fox Studios doesn't decide to tell an origin in the movies. And the truth of the matter is that if that happens, then the comics will end up having to follow the movie, which we would never want. So I said, we should get to it first. And so Bill put his money, in a sense, where his mouth was by saying, we are going to make the origin of Wolverine and we're going to sell it. And we're not going to protest about this anymore. So once we decided we were gonna do it, we, you know, we did the press release, you know, Marvel shall now reveal the origin of Wolverine. And then we looked at each other and said, well, you know, we're really not going to reveal it. We really have to write it. So there began a six-month process of generating the ideas and the stories and the looks that became the origin of Wolverine. What are you doing? I'm trying to get my adamantium claws to pop out. But you don't have any claws. <sighs> Dude, Wolverine didn't know he had claws either, and then one day they just popped out. Maybe this is the day for me. Well, Wolverine was also decades, if not hundreds of years old, and has a mutant healing factor, and also large gaping holes in his memory when the government fused his skeleton with indestructible adamantium. Do you have those things? Well, in fairness, I don't really remember much about college. Hmm. Oh, gosh. I don't really remember college at all. Ooh. Also out this week, Danny Phantom, the final season, and the Hercules collection. 
That's it for us. Join us next week for Shout Fun. Until then, come follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and visit shoutfactory.com for the latest news and sales. I'm Jennifer Landa. And I'm Brian Ward. And you've been watching your weekly shout out. Just give it up, man. <laughs> <laughs>